Good morning Reefers, I'm Daniel, this is Corlus, and today we are discussing our brand new chameleon cages. We set these up last night, these are the Zoo Med, and they come with pretty much everything you need here that you see. You get the cage, you get the heat lamp, you get the rope, the vines, the matting, pretty much everything you need to keep these guys happy. So, we did just set these up last night, and right away you can see the colors, um, the vibrant, Everything kind of changed the second we put them in here. So the only thing we didn't do is put in a dripper. So we have to do that manually for the time being. But it's absolutely adorable to watch these guys drink water. So we have three of them in here. These two on the right are the males. They are the veiled chameleons. And the panther on the left is a female. So if anybody else has a really cool male panther, feel free to bring them by. And and you can impregnate this girl. <laughs> but she is absolutely incredible and the colors are outstanding. So those of you who are into reptiles, feel free to share, comment below. Um, we do a little bit of everything here at Coralust, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. If you're looking for information on chameleons and other things, um, like I said, feel free to ask and we'll make a video for you. It's pretty interesting around here and it's not just salt water. A lot of people see the store and they think that all we do is salt water, but I mean, we got the paludarium up front, we got uh, tree frogs, we got the big mixed reef, the two red sea tanks. Um, this is our predator tank over here with the stingrays, and you can see them and how active they are. It's pretty awesome just to watch them all day long. So that's the shovel nose stingray, the lionfish in the back, the big zebra moray. Um, there's a grouper in there and a couple other eels. You can see the snowflake poking his head out the rocks and the blue dot stingray trying to hide under the sand. So that tank is pretty cool and they're pretty, pretty aggressive fish in there. So they do well together. Um, and then the octopus over here. If you guys didn't see him feed, make sure you watch the video from yesterday and you can see the octopus come out and just tear up an emerald crab. So they're pretty cool to see. And those are just, like I said, our quick little updates for today. It is Friday. We got a whole lot going on. I am actually gonna close the shop on, I think, Sunday and Monday, just so I can take some time off and get some other things done and take the family to the beach. So uh, check our Facebook page or our website for more information on that. But really cool setup. You can't go wrong. The Zoom Med systems are pretty good. They've been around a long time and they're really easy to set up and give you a lot of bang for your buck. So let's check out these cages real quick. I'll move that box off to the side and we can start out with this guy. Sorry guys, I just fed this guy a mealworm and you missed it. I was gonna um, record it, but I put my camera down for one second and I missed the footage, but we'll feed him again later on. These guys don't seem to stop eating, which is pretty cool, but Here's his little habitat that we just put in. And they like to stay at the top next to the light, but you'll see them climbing all over the place, especially in the bottom looking for the crickets and for the mealworms that we throw in there. So we did put a divider screen in that we just basically used a fish tank background so that the two chameleons didn't see each other and stress each other out. Um, but this is Frosty over here, and he's been pretty active as well. Um, spending most of his time though at the top of the tank waiting for some water um, and it is pretty cute to watch him drink water so we will set up some dripper systems later on uh, I just haven't had a chance to do that yet but you know compared to where we were keeping them earlier this is pretty awesome but so check it out there's Frosty's new home and each cage is a little bit different we did add some extra vines and things that weren't in the package so if you guys are looking around and wondering if you bought this kit and you didn't see some of the moss and stuff, we did add a few extra things on the bottom. So that's Frosty's cage. And then this guy, we haven't given him a name yet, and it's actually a girl. So this is the Panther Chameleon. And she did just come out for me a little bit earlier, but look at the colors, man. Absolutely stunning. So we won't bother her too much right now. Uh, I will feed them again later. Just wanted to show you guys the cages, show you what we set up. And when we do feedings, I will definitely, uh, for Jack and Gabriel, you guys seem to enjoy the octopus feeding so much, but I will definitely try from now on to do more um, recordings when we're feeding 
because it is pretty awesome. I love watching the chameleons just shoot their tongues out and pick off the flies or the mealworms or pretty much anything. So there you guys go. That's just a quick little Friday update. Um, stay tuned as always. Thanks for watching and happy reefing. And please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with a friend who is also curious about reptiles, fish, and ponds, pretty much anything that you could imagine. If it fits in a cage, we're curious about it. So we even have scorpions up front. I mean, they eat crickets as well, so <laughs> why let that food go to waste? So we do have some scorpions. If you guys are interested in that, I'll show you guys them next time. So there you go. As always, thanks for watching. Happy Wait. I got it. He's fat. He said, no, I'm not.